This is a reminder. This is for informational purposes only. Take this information to your healthcare provider and let your healthcare provider decide what is going to be the best course of action. Uh, also important to remind all of you that we are not making any medical recommendations. We are not suggesting that our products can be used to treat or cure any type of different health condition. Again, this information is for informational purposes only. Our patch products and our aromatherapy mists are general wellness products. And by the way, um, you could expect, if you're doing all of those things or a portion of them, let's say you're doing X39, X49, and supplementing with beta alanine, uh, our clinical studies show that you can get improvements in your memory and focus in as little as the very first week of use. Some people will take a little bit longer, about three weeks. Uh, but if you've been neglecting your cognition for many years, getting results the very first month is remarkable. So great news is that there's help. All right, what about muscle loss? What do we do here? Well, this is uh, called sarcopenia. Um, it's related to age. And by the time someone gets to the age of 70, they could have lost 35%, let's say, of their muscle mass. No getting around it. Lack of exercise is going to be single biggest contributing factor. If you're resistance training, if you're doing regular push-ups or weightlifting, uh, anything that's, you know, pull-ups, pick something, yoga, uh, qigong, something that's regular exercise that's putting a resistance against the muscle, um, you are going to be helping to maintain your overall strength, bone density, and muscle mass. So you got to exercise. Uh, now, if you're going to the gym, you're exercising at home, and you're not getting results, chances are that you have a low protein diet. You're not getting enough protein. As we age and the cells begin to shrink, you need more protein in your diet. It's more difficult to metabolize protein. You might need 40 grams of protein to turn on muscle protein synthesis, mTOR. Um, you need enough of the amino acid leucine, four grams, uh, if you're, let's say, over 50, to turn on muscle protein synthesis. So don't underestimate whether or not you're getting enough protein in the diet. Of course, overall poor nutrition is a problem, lack of sleep, uh, the amount of time you need to rebuild muscle, and of course, low testosterone for men and women uh, makes it about impossible to build muscle. So we want to look at all these things. Now, the good news is that no matter what your age you can improve your health and vitality and improve your body composition. Doesn't matter. It, it may take a little bit more willpower if you're a little bit older, if you're over 60 or 70 and you've been out of shape for a long time. Uh, could take a lot of uh, support. Maybe you hire a personal trainer or have people in your life that support you in this journey, but you can do it. It's been proven. Uh, again, here what we want to do is uh, improve mitochondrial function, improve stem cell activity, uh, improve your diet, get enough protein, get that testosterone and growth hormone up, use supplements where needed, you got to exercise, you've got to do resistance training, uh, even if it's just push-ups and squats, uh, 10, 15 minutes of exercise, maybe that's all you need to get started and make sure you're getting enough sleep. Okay, so we have a lot of data here on uh, patching. Obviously, X39 and X49 are the go-to products that we've studied the most on improving body composition, but we've also got a great study on the use of carnosine. Carnosine is a mild anabolic, so it's muscle building. And we see that just with carnosine within the first week of use, 
you're going to have an improvement in strength and stamina. So you can turn this around very quickly. Uh, please make sure, though, if you haven't exercised in a while, take it slow. Uh, when I was younger, my mom's uncle died because he went to his doctor and the doctor said, uh, you know, you've got to go out and lose some weight, so start exercising. And he went out and went for a jog, and he dropped dead. Uh, it was heartbreaking, absolutely heartbreaking. He he was a wonderful man. And um, to have that happen was completely unnecessary. So if you haven't exercised in a long time, please take it slow. Work with your healthcare practitioner use a personal trainer, get back into shape. You, you didn't get out of shape overnight. You're not going to get in shape overnight. This is a lifelong commitment. So look at where you want to be in three months or six months, not in a week. Take it slow, but you can do it. And uh, the patches and uh, the aromatherapy, aromatherapy mists are definitely going to help out. Okay. So we've covered that. Uh, protein, here would be a guide. And uh, over the years, I've spoken with many bodybuilders and athletes. To put you in the ballpark, you could simply take your body weight in pounds and multiply by 80% and uh, then say, okay, based on that number, I'm going to take one gram of protein. So for a man that weighs 200 pounds, that'd be about 160 grams of protein per day divided up over, let's say, four servings. Uh, if you're trying to be a bodybuilder, well, that's a different story. Now you're taking hundreds of grams of protein. Uh, but that, that would be a good start. I mean, you could also shoot for something like 200 grams of protein, may not be necessary, Uh and again, you're spreading that out over a period of four, five, six meals. Um, we talked a little bit before about the master amino acid pattern as a way of getting your branch chain amino acids. Whey protein is preferred uh, because it's high in the branch chain amino acids. But you could simply take the amino acid leucine. Let's say you're a vegan and you don't want to take whey protein. You could take a pea protein add leucine to it, and now you've got the same value as whey protein when it comes to muscle building. So the branch chain amino acids, especially leucine, are responsible for turning on muscle protein synthesis. You've got to have that in your diet. Beta alanine, again, supports uh, AHK and carnosine levels. So beta alanine is anabolic, as is uh, creatine, five grams per day is sufficient. And uh, creatine is definitely a safe and natural muscle builder and complements everything else. 